stubbornly resisting the deadly efforts of Ivan Shark to have him destroyed, Captain Midnight brings the master criminal closer and closer to the gallows. But Shark's organization is powerful, and at last, Midnight's cause seems hopelessly lost. turned off the main power supply. I did. You said to destroy everything. You certainly did, and I hadn't finished midnight yet. Get that door open. Fate is kind to you, Captain Midnight. It forces me to finish you quickly instead of... Don't be a trick and get it over with. Not yet. I want to enjoy myself to the limit. We can't wait any longer. We're going in there. Midnight might be in trouble. Will you be all right, Edwards? Yes, I'm all right. Go ahead. Your efforts to interfere with me have been in vain. You'll die here, disowned, deserted, and forgotten. I don't boasting, Ivan Shark. Killing me counts for nothing. Go ahead, shoot! Gotta scram fast. Government men are at the garage door. Edwards must have let him here. No, no, no! Don't get in a panic. It'll take time to force that door. Get to the emergency exit. I'll send Fury to you. But what about you? It's my chance to get Edwards as well as his daughter. Now do as I say. you before anyone can get in. Not a chance to force this, Major. It's solid steel. Get that cutting torch. We'll burn through it. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Father, what's this all about? What's happened? Plenty. Join the men at the secret exit and take command. Will you come, too, if your coffins are finished? Oh, I won't be there. Think I'm midnight. If I'm caught, I'll shoot my way out. Now do as I say. Oh, all right. We can't afford to wait all night. <laughs> That'll fool him. I even fool myself. Captain Midnight! I knew you'd find me. Where's my father? Safe. We must hurry. I'll explain later. There, that does it. Major! Well, good work, Captain. What about the gang? They're barricaded in there. Hold them off while I get Joyce to safety. I'll take her to her father. He's got a gun. Then Dad's all right again? Why didn't the captain tell you? Well, I, I, I didn't have time. You'd better get in there, Major. We're all ready, Jerry. All right, let's go. Dad! Joyce, darling. Hey. Get in the car, Mr. Edwards. We're on dangerous ground. What about you're stealing the men. They're rounding up the crooks. Get in. I know what I'm doing. Hold it. 
I'm arresting you, Captain Midnight, for murder. You got away before, but not this time. Why, you, you're making a mistake, officer. I'm on government business. Certainly. Ask Major Steele. He's in that garage. Major Steele or no one else can square a murder rap coming. You're making a terrible mistake. All right, all right. If they get him to headquarters, they'll see through the disguise and he's a cook goose. They'll never get him to headquarters. Get in the car, quick. Edwards, try and talk this fool out of this. Please wait for Major Steele. Not a chance. Come on. The police have him. Own headquarters to hold him until we get there. I'm betting it's a frame up. You get yours and the father to safety. I'm following that car. Follow that police car. You're interfering with government business. Better reconsider. I'll make it worth your while. Bribery, huh? Nothing doing. You got away from me once, so I'm not taking any chances with you. Just handcuff you to this robe, Braille. Away here. Don't get too close, but keep that tail light in sight. Hey, Jim. Looks like an accident ahead there. Slow down. What happened here? It wasn't my fault, on it. She stepped right in front of my car. She hurt very bad? Gee, I, I don't know. I'm afraid she is. Hey, Jim, bring the first aid kit. Drivers, there ought to be something down on you guys. Look out! Good girl, Curry. I knew you'd think of something. Hurry, hurry! They can't fight forever. I'm hurrying, you fool! Pull we'll over to the side of the road. We've accomplished our purpose. Call those men in. Well, what are you waiting for? Let me up, you fools! They're getting away! Yeah, but you ain't getting away. All right, get me to your chief in a hurry. You bet we will. Your attempted rescue was a bust. Yes, a bigger one than you think. All right, come on. Get... Oh, I'm glad to see you boys. And your prisoners, too. Major, Captain Albright's army reporting with two captives of uncertain and dubious character. And take it from me, Mage, they're tough hombres. <laughs> Did you get anything from them? Nothing but abuse, but we got plenty to hold them on. I'll say. Uh, where's Captain Albright? We've been worried. No need. He's at the police station questioning Shock. You mean they got him? Yes. That's a lot of hoeing. They'll never get him. He's too smart, too powerful. Shut up! Uh, thanks, Mage. I was going to take care of it myself. Yes, sir? Uh, get me the chief of police. You think it's true? If it wasn't for the publicity, I'd suspend you both without pay. Don't be too hard on them, Chief. It was an honest mistake. Mistake my eye. They had the biggest criminal unhung in their hands and let him get away. Hello? Oh, hello, Chief. Did the men arrive there with the shark? They arrived, all right, but without the shark. They brought Albright instead. Oh, they did, huh? And he talked plenty, huh? Did you hear me? They brought Albright instead. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Put Albright on. Wants to talk to you. Hello, Major. The gang pulled a fast one and our man got away. Well, my congratulations. Your men are here, brought in a couple of the Sharks men. You better hurry over. Good. Tell them nothing. I'm on my way. Thanks, Chief. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Well, the gang's busted higher than a kite. Shark is scared to death, falling all over himself to tell everything. When Captain Midnight showed up, I sure thought the jig was up. That guy's got more lives than a cat. That's right. Didn't we see the boss plug him? Oh, he couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. You ought to let me do all the shooting. Perhaps I will. Next time, Borgman. Gee, boss, you didn't know I was listening. Well, I was. Let that be a lesson to you. Keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Quiet. Hey, 
Relax, relax. It's Morton with news. Well, what did you learn? Speak up. The military intelligence have got Martell and Slick. I never well, thought they'd get Martell and Slick. Quiet! Have they talked? Don't know. No one could get near those offices. Number 27 reported Captain Midnight was released, and they're all in a big powwow. Suppose they talk. Quiet! They won't talk. They know the penalty for squealing. But I'll not let them remain in custody. Morton, join our other operators. Cover the building. Report everything to me here. Yes, sir. Well, what are we going to do? Yeah, well, wait until I tell you, of course. Now, come here, all of you. What I'm telling you, boys, is the truth. You haven't got a chance. Now, why not swing over on the side of the law for a change? You're throwing a swell line off, right? But we ain't falling for it. Because if you had Ivan Sharp and he sang, you wouldn't be wasting time and slick on me. It's all a lot of hooey. Now throw the book at us if you can. I dare you. Lock them up. Come on. Get out of here. They're well trained. They know if they talk, their lives won't be worth two cents. You're right. The gang is well organized. But they got Ivan Shark away and they're bound to try and rescue these men. Bosh, that's impossible. Ah, not if we made it look easy. So, and how do we do it? Tomorrow morning, we'll broadcast over all news hookups that the prisoners are being transferred for safety. As they show willingness to talk, we'll give the time and destination. To the big house, straight out Highway 67. Must be sure fire at all times. Well, I should hope so. Yes? Yes, I've got that. Highway 67. Yes. All right. S1 calling number eight. S1 calling number eight. Come in, eight. Number eight answering. Go ahead, S1. Goods on way. Big house. Highway 67. Got it? Repeat back. Highway 67. Everything's Jake. We'll report in and finish. Over. Load up, Gardo. Right. Well, things are working out as you figured. I wonder. Fang, stay by the radio. Yes, Master. Hey, how about letting us in on where we're going? You know where you're going, to the big house, out Highway 67. It's working as you planned, but what are those birds going to do? That's my worry. We should soon find out. They're coming. Now be ready to scram out if Spotter fails to stop them. Hey, you better slow down. It looks like the road's blocked. Trouble. You'll have to detour the bridges out ahead. Well, you'll have to let us through. We've got a couple of prisoners we're taking to the big house. That's my orders. All right, let's go. Well, Alan, what are we going to do? Get to that car, you idiot! <laughs> They'll get away and go straight to their headquarters. We'll follow them. Hey, he's after us. Midnight. 
flat again. Put your foot down on that throttle. It's down flat now. Stop with your gun. What is that infernal machine? Can Chuck and Dickie have invented another bomb site? At any rate, poor Chuck doesn't remain long at liberty. Will Ivan Shark's men add another murder to their long list of crimes? Be sure to see Burning Bomber, next week's exciting chapter of Captain Midnight.